Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be diving deeper into putting together your content marketing strategy. Last time we talked all about the research phase and different aspects of research and how you can come up with the best information as you put together your plan. And today I want to talk about setting goals and establishing a timeline when it comes to putting together your strategy. So once you've done enough research to give you a broad understanding of your audience, your competitive position and your niche, you can start drawing up the main goals of your campaign as well as a timeline in which you'll meet those goals. So to start, um, before you get too ambitious, you need to realize the long-term nature of content marketing. You can't use content marketing as a get rich quick scheme, nor can you use it as a short-term boost for your brand. If you're going to get involved with content, you need to have a long-term focus. Accordingly, I highly recommend avoiding setting any measurable goals any sooner than six months out. Six months is a long time, but it will probably take you at least that long to develop a foundational reputation. In many ways, content marketing serves as a kind of microcosm for business development. And when you first start out, you'll be operating in the red, putting more effort and money into the strategy than it yields in returns. But over time, you'll start to break even and eventually you'll start to earn a far higher ROI on your efforts. So you're planting seeds for a garden knowing full well how long it's going to take for even the first um, plant to sprout. And with this long-term focus in mind, you'll be able to set more realistic goals and expectations for your campaign and you'll be able to make a plan that takes advantage of this slow build process. Another thing you wanna take into consideration is your budget. So ideally, you'd have plenty of resources with which to fund and grow your content content campaign. It's technically possible to start a campaign with no upfront investment. You can start a blog for free. You can spend your own time to do your research and draft your strategy and spend your free time producing content to get you started. However, as you scale, you'll likely find yourself in need of more resources. And don't forget, time is money. Every minute you spend doing something that's not something only you can do is value lost to your business. Additionally, there's a correlation between the amount of time and money you invest and the results that you'll see. It's a long-term strategy either way, but generally, if you produce more and better content, you'll start seeing results sooner and at a faster pace. If you have a small budget, you can't expect to see fast results. Or conversely, if you want to see faster or bigger results, then you're gonna need to find a way to increase your budget. Keep this in mind when you're setting your goals. It's also going to become important when you work on documenting the execution phase. The next step is coming up with the types of goals to set. So when it comes to setting goals, you're going to have to consider a number of different areas. Merely stating that you wanna increase brand visibility or earn more revenue isn't enough. You'll need to drill down to individual dimensions of performance. And you can decide these for yourself, but there are a handful that will most, that you'll want to keep as a high priority. And so a few of those are traffic and traffic can come from a number of different areas. It can come from organic traffic, which involves traffic coming from search engines. It can come from referral traffic, which is traffic that comes from outside sources. And it can come from social traffic, which obviously comes from social media syndication. All three of these stem from the quality of your content and all three types of traffic can drive more revenue to your site through sheer volume. If you already have a solid conversion rate, then this should be a top priority. 
Another one of the goals that you should really consider is engagement. Engagement comes in many forms, and once again, you'll need to consider which forms are most appropriate and most impactful for your specific business. The simplest definition of engagement is a user's direct interaction with your brand. It could be a comment on your article, a subscription to your newsletter, or even a follow on social media. Engagement serves as both an indication of content success and also a driver of value since it brings a user closer to your brand and it's perfect for encouraging brand visibility and authority. Another priority to consider is conversions. So traffic and engagements are nice, but conversions are the real goal. If you aren't concerned about the amount of traffic you're getting or if your hardline desire is strictly focused on getting more immediate revenue, then conversions should be your main focus. You also want to consider SMART goals. So within these individual categories, you'll need to set goals that fall into the SMART criteria, which have become so popular that they have their own Wikipedia page. And if you're not already familiar with the acronym SMART, it stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time Bound. So for the purpose of your content strategy document, the original criteria will do just fine. Be specific. Don't just aim for an increase aim for an increase of a specific number of percentage. Make it measurable. Understand exactly how and where you'll measure your success. Make it achievable. Set the bar high, but not so high that it's outside your budget and your resources capacity. Make it relevant. Don't venture into other areas like customer service satisfaction or company profitability and make it time bound. Attach a deadline to every goal you set. So that covers the second step of creating your content marketing strategy, setting goals and establishing a timeline. And we'll be back again with another episode with more steps in that, in the process. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.